This morning, we are following history in the making in Sharpsburg, where one of the oldest people who lives there was just voted onto the town council. Polly Garrison tells our Caitlin Ross her age adds up to meaningful experience in politics. There is history on the streets of Sharpsburg, Georgia. Founded 200 years ago, there is wisdom within the walls that still stand and inside the homes of its residents. A little over 100. I think it's about 112 now. Polly Garlington born just a few years after her home was built. Some of that can be good and some of it not so hot. <laughs> At 92, she's still the new kid on the block in Sharpsburg. I've been here 23 years. 23 years. I'm a new person in town. But it's not a struggle for Polly to try something new. Struggle? Nothing. Like what? <laughs> it's government money, town money. We need to be really careful. Like running for the town council at nearly 100 years old. I've only been here two months. I was in the audience a long time. Polly's passion for politics dates back as far as she can remember. Now I can make a motion if you would like. Big time competition in small town politics means she didn't win every time she ran. Twice I lost by one vote, one vote. This time she beat her opponent by six votes, 46 to 40. <gasps> She says those slim margins should prove everyone needs a chance to be heard. I think you need to talk to be able to work through things. I just don't think you can show up at a council meeting and vote on a matter without getting other people's opinions. And she's not afraid to share hers. I'm just concerned about $27,000 and it's not, I didn't think it was getting looked at close enough. Her age and perspective have helped her advocate for what she believes in. I just think there needs to be more oversight. How to disagree respectfully is a lesson she's learned over time. I'm just being sure crossing my teeth is not my eyes. Polly's roots run deep in Sharpsburg, shining a light on a new history in the making. So will Polly run again when her term is up? Never say never, but she thinks not. She's trying to recruit younger people in the town to take an interest in politics and run for her seat. But she told me she saved her campaign signs just in case.